Hello everyone. Welcome to next part of uh, my Stargate project. We will continue straight where we left um, in the previous part and uh, this would be the Stargate in the mm, let's say default pedestal. Uh, we can see uh, such a pedestal on basically every or almost every of world uh, gates in the series. Now there is still one thing that is obviously missing uh, in this, well, assembly. Uh, the gates, uh, on the off-world gates were always um, dialed via uh, dial-home device, a DHD. And I think that it should really be here as well. That is why I um, bro uh, browsed the internet and found a few reference pictures that would be uh, very good. So I use them and with them I created this assembly. Oh, sorry. This DHD assembly. It looks like this. Yeah, I know it is rather uh, simplistic, but I kind of think that it's sufficient. I don't think uh, any more details uh, are necessary, not to mention that uh, in the real thing you can see there are all those, all those lines, um, decorative lines, that are present on basically every uh, ancient and go out uh, technology I guess um, yes they are also on the gate they are on the Jaffa helmets and whatever but um, considering it would be created by 3d printing I don't really think it's necessary to have them there so, as uh, with the previous design, as you can see, it is assembled from several pieces that fit together. None of them need any support material and they fit together just like Lego. So, we have this base, we have this upper part, and we have the symbols keyboard I guess I don't really know how to how to <laughs> describe this part and the uh, activation button which basically serves as um, sort of support that holds everything together so that would be the DHD that uh, really belongs to this diorama I guess so that would be the off-world pedestal. Now, I also considered the fact that the most uh, often we see the gate inside the gate room and uh, SGC has completely different pedestal made from scratch so I was thinking that uh, I could recreate it as well. For that purpose I used some reference pictures like this for example I uh, browsed uh, Google and found uh, pictures that are best suited uh, don't really know the original author uh, so I cannot make a shout out but uh, great job it looks really nice I know it's CGI but it looks really nice and it's quite detailed so I kinda use it as a reference point So those were my uh, reference pictures and uh, 
from those picture pictures I created a new assembly and we will now take a look into that assembly. So here we are in Creo and this is the model of the earth pedestal. Now as you can see I tried to recreate it as faithfully as I could and uh, I hope that I succeeded in that regard. The only thing that is really missing here from the model is actually all those various tubes and cables. The thing is that I am not really sure if I would be um, if, if I would be able to actually print some uh, flexible material. So that is why I didn't uh, bother to actually design it, uh, design or draw those cables yet. If uh, there would be this possibility, I will go uh, back to this design and add those cables. Now on the first glance you can see that I actually used uh, colors right now in this in this uh, assembly. Considering the gate is the identical one, uh, that means that also in the uh, normal pedestal um, the gate is also colored like that. Now, uh, this design is also just like in the previous version uh, designed to be printable without any support material at all and um, to be um, possible to assemble it with no problems. How did I achieve that? Okay. So, as uh, with the previous design, we can see that I have all those various locks and that uh, makes everything goes together. Uh, this uh, long pylon uh, is actually uh, quite long so that I had to split it in two because uh, that would be out of range of the printing machine. Also the lower part is as you can see divided into two halves so that I can have this lock and lock it in place to the main pedestal. Uh, the other uh, supports that are here um, they uh, they are simply insert it into place. As with previous uh, design I made no uh, space uh, between between uh, inserts and well, holes I guess so they should uh, stick together re really tightly. Now just to see how the gate itself is positioned I will go, I will hide this ramp and those railings. So, as you can see, there is some space between those supports and the gate itself. However, here uh, the gate is supported by those, well, supports and uh, once it is uh, placed here uh, these uh, I guess electrodes um, I always assumed these four uh, parts uh, are the thing that gives the gate uh, power anyway they are tightly locked here so they will stick it uh, in place as well but uh, as with the previous part this this part has basically is in contact with the gate so it pushes it down as you can see it has uh, holes and this part has pins so it's once again just like Lego and then the ramp would be lowered onto it I will unhide everything and just like with the previous uh, design, I also uh, stick to this uh, mechanism so that when I rotate this wheel, the inner ring will rotate, which is actually 
uh, from the Canon standoff point only uh, a viable solution for this feature to actually make sense because the Stargate in normal pedestal would have DHD uh, which uh, gives the coordinate to the gate itself and thus no spinning is required. Now everything as you can see consists of several parts in such a way that no support material will be needed. So that's uh, basically it about the design. Now, um, considering that I have two other projects at work, uh, the replicator and trebuchet, um, it would take quite some, quite some time before I can actually print it, uh, either the gate or this pedestal or the normal one. Um, that means that th it would uh, be really quite some time, thus I think that um, in next videos what I will do is to make a um, sort of uh, assembly video, uh, or rather assembly instructions video, in which I will go step by step in uh, how to actually assemble this entire, well, diorama I guess from uh, individual parts it, I think it could be interesting and for me it would be better because when I uh, actually print it in future I will know <laughs> how to actually assemble it so that would be it so that would be all for now thank you very much and uh, have a very very nice day and we'll see each other in the next part